Hi, this is Matt with RemoteStartMN.com. What I'm going to show you today is a 2016 Subaru Legacy and a Viper 4806V. This is a two-way system. It lets you know if the vehicle's received the commands to do what it needs to do. Um, lock, unlock, remote start, and trunk release. Uh, get right to it. This is how the remote looks. Um, it's got the buttons all on the front with the exception of a F button on the side which takes care of more advanced features. Uh, Subaru Legacy is full control um, from this remote so if I lock it up I'm gonna get the factory beeps out of it. Um, that means factory alarm, lock, unlock. Um, you know if I unlock I'm gonna get that same beep. Um, does unlock just the way that the factory does. Now you have to carry around this factory key regardless because this is what you start your car with. Um, has a lock and unlock built into it already, but uh, sometimes nice to have a little bit more control. Um, in either case, this will not give you um, nearly the range that this unit does. We've got uh, probably 200 feet here and we got up to a mile here. You'll never get a mile out of it, but um, you will get a ton more distance than the factory has to provide. So I'll go ahead and lock the system up and just show you what you get on the Viper remote for now. You lock it up, you get that green light, factory beep, um, everything is locked up and secured. That green light on this remote meant that the vehicle actually received the command and did what it needed to do. At this point the vehicle is all locked up, factory alarms armed, and it's good and ready to lock away from. As far as unlock goes, or let's get right to remote start. When you want to use the remote start, you want to press on that remote start button. It's going to give you a green light with that startup tone. It is going to unlock it for a brief moment. And by the time it starts here, it's already relocked and um, good to go. So at this point, now that it is running, um, parking lights are going to be on. Those are going to stay on for the duration of the run time. It's going to run by itself for a total of 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, everything's gonna shut down, all the lights go off, everything stays locked. In fact, it relocks it, um, so everything's fully secured. If during that 20 minute timeline, you've decided you didn't wanna go anywhere, you can always press on that remote start button again, and everything shuts down. You get a green light confirming that it's, you know, received that signal and done what it needs to do. Um, of course, it relocked it, as you just heard, and now it's good to just be away from. All secured and um, I'll go ahead and start it back up. At this point I'm going to start it back up and I'll show you a little bit about the F button on the side. F button takes care of more advanced features. Um, those features are if you wanted to say check the interior cabin temperature um, you can press on this F button one time and then press and hold on it and it will illuminate some lights um, on the front panel that will indicate on a low to high basis where the interior cabin temperature is sitting at. So I'll go ahead and do that. There it is. It says it's uh, about three quarters of the way up to a what it would consider hot temperature. So it's a, a midway hot temperature right now. Uh, another advanced feature that you can do is if you press once and then press on the remote start button, you'll see all these lights light up and you'll hear that remote start sound. I'll do that again for you. So it's F button, then remote start. You'll hear that do 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 do. You'll see the green lights. What that means is that the runtime has now been reset. So let's say it's 18 minutes into your runtime. You've decided you want to keep your car running a little bit longer. Maybe you haven't had enough time to get out to it yet. Um, basically, you press that F, that remote start, extends the runtime back out to the 20 minute timeline. Now, when you're ready to drive with this vehicle, um, real super simple, this is a key start vehicle. Um, so, when you're ready to gain entry, you'll just unlock like you normally would. You get the green lights, of course, indicating that Things have gone the right way, a couple of beeps on the car. Um, you'll open up the door, you'll put the key into the ignition, you'll put it up to the on position, 
you can go right into the start position with the Subaru Legacy. It's not going to regrind on the starter. Um, at that point, you're allowed to put your foot on the brake to put it in gear, and you'll hear the remote start shut down, and that's it. The key is in control. So I'll go ahead and kind of show you that process, and then um, I'll have to thank you for watching the video. Very easy, I've unlocked it, I'll gain entry, key in, on, foot on the brake, you'll hear the remote start shut down and now we're good and ready to drive. Vehicle stays running, um, our antennas, I like to try to hide them up here so everything's run with the factory stuff and battery's about to run out so. Once again, this is Matt with remotestartmn.com. Thanks for having a look.